good measures pressed down, shaken together and running over. Father, Lord God, as your word declare, oh God, that you will open the windows of heaven and you will pour out a blessing, oh God, unto your people. Father, Lord Jesus, as we give tonight, God, give, oh God, Father, Lord Jesus, let our store market baskets never be empty. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, oh God, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God, with your thine and offering in your right hand. Please lift them high and repeat after me. As we give our offerings today, we are believing God for job or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits, deals and better deals, houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, Debts demolished, bills paid off, sicknesses to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the devil has taken from us. If that's your faith, let us all see that with a hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise be to God at this time. We're going to ask our sister Shanti to come and minister in song. Bless the name of Jesus. There will be mountains that I would have to climb, and there will be battles that I would have to fight, but victory or defeat is up to me to decide but how can I expect to win if I never try I just Help me to be strong. 
Give the Lord some praise in this house. Everybody give the Lord some praise. Come on, stand everywhere and give the Lord some praise. God has been good to you. If it had not been the Lord who grant us journey in mercies and renew his mercies today in our life, we wouldn't be here tonight. So we have to show him that we are grateful. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth and say something to the Lord. God has been good to you. Many persons in the hospital tonight would desire to open their mouth and say something to the Lord. But they won't able to because there are some aches and pains. You are privileged tonight to lift your hands in the presence of the Lord and give him a wave offering. Come on, give him a wave offering. Some person tonight would like to do what we are doing tonight, but they are not able to. It's nothing good that we have done. Praise God, because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But it's because of his grace and because of his mercy. We are privileged tonight to be in the presence of God. To give him praise and to give him glory. And to receive something from him tonight. Praise God. We're just asking. Praise God. Pastor Clark just to shout up praise in this house. One, two, three. Evangelist Chambers. One, two, three. Evangelist Butler. One, two, three. Deacon. One, two, three. Evangelist Robinson, one, two, three. Missionaries and evangelists, one, two, three. Bishop Williams. Stand in this house, praise God. Stand, stand, stand. Come on, everybody, stand and put your hands together as we hear what the Lord have to say. Praise God. My God, Mother Williams is in the house. Give a shout of praise. <laughs> Praise God, praise God. Receive at this moment the word from our presiding bishop and general overseer, care of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, worshipers. Open your mouth and give God a better praise. You can do better than that. Show your head back. Open your mouth wide and glorify the King of Kings. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for his good, his mercy. Somebody clap your hands and Give him one more shout of praise. Give the Lord another shout of praise in here. Reach your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place, at the right time for your miracle. Come on and smile and say, hello, neighbor, my goodly neighbor. Glad to see you. You are standing in a miracle zone. When you're in a present like this, expect anything. Clap your hands and give God a better praise. Somebody give the Lord Jesus a better praise. Come on, give him one more shout of praise. Give him one more shout of glory. Hallelujah. While you remain standing, please turn your Bibles with me to Mark chapter 5. Let's go to the gospel according to Mark chapter 5. And let's take it from Hallelujah. Verse 6. God is a good God and there is none like him. He's Lord all by himself. He's God alone. We worship him because he's our only savior. He's our master. He's our king. He is our God. Hallelujah. We are at Mark chapter 5. When you're there, just shout a glory. Hallelujah. All right. We're going to take it from verse. Hallelujah. When he was come out of the ship, Immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with unclean spirits who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with fetters of chains and, and chains he'd been plucked asunder by him 
and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying, oh Lord, somebody said, in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Want to get bone you too much. No chin, no tomb can't stop you from worshiping God. Thank you, Jesus. Is there somebody in here that come with a worship? Uh, but he saw when he saw Jesus afar off. He ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice, saying, and said, What have I to do with thee? You over there and we over here. So he worshipped, but the demons begin to talk now. And said, what, what do I have to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? Most high God in the Hebrew is El Elon. The sovereign God, the one that is above all. El Elon. Hallelujah. The one that creates the heavens and the earth. I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto the unclean spirit, come out of the man, you foul spirit. Disturb hell. Where is the worshiper? As verse 9. And he asks him, the first time Jesus ever do something like this in his ministry, is thy name. And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send him out of the country. He doesn't want to go far. He don't want to leave the region. He don't want to leave the territory. He want to stay in his zone. Let's see what Jesus do. He's act. So uh, demons have no power over our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The unclean spirit have to ask petition. He's God over everything. So unclean spirit have to make their request too. He's God over them too. Where is the worshippers? Come on with me, a man. Hallelujah. And he, so he besought him much not to send him out of the region. Now there was the, nigh, there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, beg, plead to the Lord, saying, send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. They can't even go in without Jesus. Give them the permission. We are the warriors. That's our daddy. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We love him because he's our God and our Savior. If Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your God and your Savior, wave your hand and tell him thank you. He is here with me. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered the swine. Two thousand swine. How much? Two thousand. The legion filled two thousand. The, the demons that was in one man full two thousand swine. Mm. And uh, the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. And they were about to an and uh, text that say that they were drowned. Demon squeeze the jaw. All right, let's go in. We're coming down a little bit. Are you there with me? And they and they that fled, do that fed this fed the swine fled. Oh Jesus, how can you see a miracle like that and you're running? How can the holy move of God, the present, the 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 the, 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 the awesomeness of God is shown and you're running away? 
That's how the world stay. The world hate the move of God. They resist the glory of God. They don't want. That's why they hate the church so much. Enemy of the church. Can you imagine? What a miracle. And uh, what the Bible said. Uh, they fled. And told it in the city. And in the country. And they went out to see what was it that was done Jesus and they and they come to Jesus all right and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil uh, and had the legion sitting clothed in his right mind and they was afraid. why are you afraid you don't want God you don't want Jesus you don't want the glory you don't want the miracle you see the move of God and you become afraid. All right, let's go in. Verse 16, please. Can we go in? And they that saw it told it. How told them how it their course. How can you, you? You see God in action, a miracle you have never seen before, but you are you will never embrace the glory. You don't want the holiness of God, you don't want the power, you don't want the anointing. You are asking God to leave. That's how it goes. People that love sin don't want the presence of God. They don't want righteousness. They don't want the truth. Hallelujah. They don't want the glory. They want Jesus to go. Hallelujah to God. But thanks be to God. There's a people that invite his presence. Every time God do something, we testify and we glorify and we draw, we are drawn closer. His glory, his blessing, his mercy pull us closer. Where are you? Are you there with me? All right. Where we are at verse, verse 18, verse 19. How be Jesus suffered them not? No, no, we are at verse 18. And when he was come into the ship, he that had possessed with the devil, make his request again. Another request now, pray him that uh, he might be with him. I want to follow you, Jesus. Uh, you see the difference? Uh, once they see it, and, and when they see the miracle, they want the miracle worker to go. But this man say, I want to follow. Every time God show up, uh, I just want to walk with him forever. When God open a door, when God work a miracle in my life, I just want to follow him where he goes. Oh Lord, you see two set of people see the miracle. One don't want God, and the next say, I want to follow. Come on, are you there with me, man? That I might be with him, that he might be with him. Verse 19. I think we can close there, please. Can we close there? Or are we gonna go down a little bit more? Verse 19. How be Jesus suffered him not, friends. See, when you get to glory, what you must do with it. You see, when the miracle is being done in your life, what you should do with it. If you don't tell it on the mountain top, if you don't go and tell it in the busy street, oh Lord, you are a wicked servant. And Go up your mouth, man, and let the world know that Jesus is still working miracles. Mm. Oh, Lord, Jesus, send the man. Go tell your friends. Go tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath compassion on thee. And he departs and began to publish in the in decopolis how great things jesus has done for him so jesus said go tell them what god has done for you but when he go he called the name of god his name is jesus are you not watching man look man it's right in your bible hallelujah how great things jesus has done for him and all men did marvel where is the worshipers in here come on i'm gonna close it at 20 20 can i close it at 21 
Uh, and when Jesus and, and when Jesus was passed over again by ship onto uh, the other side. So after he finished, uh, he get back in the boat uh, and he go back to ministry. Where is the warriors in here? Go back to where he was on the other side and much people gathered unto him and he, he was nigh unto the sea. Let us pray to our Father. Eternal God and our Creator. Jesus Christ. Father, please, somebody need a word from you to experience your glory. Please, Holy Spirit, have your way tonight. Give your angels charge. Let them a free course in this. Uh, everyone that hears this word, let it go with clarity. And let the anointing flow with this word. Bring deliverance. Heal the sick. Save somebody. Deliver somebody. Please set somebody free. In in the name of Jesus, somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and give God a better praise in this house. Come on, somebody, give the Lord Jesus a better praise in this house. I wanted to find four people and tell them military take over. Oh, shy, it's kind of flat. Oh, tell four, not two, not three. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Tell four people military take over god is a good god slap that seat and say military take over the kingdom of god is taking back what the kingdom of darkness has taken come on somebody oh jesus where is the worshipers it's a military take over uh, a military takeover is underway and the kingdom of God is taking back what the enemy have stolen. Tonight I want to talk to you a little bit concerning the text that I have mentioned to you. I want you to understand here we see Jesus said to his disciples, let's go over the other side we know the story i explain it i preach and i teach it that when jesus said that there were demonic powers entities that heard his word when jesus said let's go over on the other side oh yeah there was not only the disciples that were present there were spirits live beings that heard and they went on the other side before Jesus reached. That Jesus is coming over on the other side. Always remember that. So when you say you're going to Cayman, Grand Cayman, when the demon here is gone to Grand Cayman to try his endeavor best to stop us from coming over that side. We are already believers in here because the Bible said that he went into the ship and they were go in the ship going over the other side and right in the middle of the lake there was a contrary wind and that the water began to beat against the ship until the ship was full of water. The disciples became fearful. They went and they wake Jesus and said, Cure us not that we perish uh, jesus get up and jesus speak to the wind and the wave and the water double double dot com all right next week and the bible said there was a great calm and disciples now became afraid and they asked the question what manner of man is this that the water and the wind obey him hallelujah now they're on the other side and the side that they enter is called the gathering somebody said god reigns hallelujah when we look we see now that the bible said that that there came a man that was possessed with a spirit the spirit that possessed the man is called legion. 
it blows my mind because now in this text the writer brings some details to our attention because the writer said that often time this man is in the mountains uh -huh. and we know mountain in scriptures many times speak of high places always remember anytime God is going to speak to somebody he always say come higher. He always introduces people to high place. If you notice when God wanted to speak to Moses, he went up on Mount Sinai. And Moses got to come up to meet God. And God said, you got to come up, Moses. If you notice that when God wants to bring a turnaround in Israel, uh, Elijah go to Mount Carmel. There is always a mount. You're coming to me now. Now we look at Jerusalem. Jerusalem is on a mountain and they call it Mount Zion. I run a little bit time because I don't have many, much time. So we look and we see when God is going to give the Holy Ghost. He met them at the Mount of Olives. You notice anytime Jesus was going to pray, he went up to the Mount. He went up in the Mount of Olives and pray. You're coming with me now. And when he was going to trans figure his body he went up into a mount they call it now mount transfiguration yes when he's gonna show them his inner being he bring them up in the mount and he transform figured himself you're coming uh -huh. when he's gonna give the holy ghost he said you must go to jerusalem and remember jerusalem is up then he said when you reach jerusalem and you're, and you're going up on the mount zion and i want you to go up into an upper room so everything about god is yes all right i'll prove that to you because when i talk about the east is up and when i talk about the west is down and when I talk about the east is always godly. And when I talk about the west is ungodly. You're not coming with me, man. All right, I push that two more. Somebody can get the understanding. All right, when I talk about the, the west, even in Jamaica, you know, we spot in Jamaica is the most deadly place. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You're not coming with me, man. Where is the worshippers in here? You don't know. So when I got West Kingston, a deadly place. And don't play with down here. You know, don't play. You think no any anybody can rise up with power down here? And West, that's your name. Oh, Jesus, uh, come in me. I push it two more time. You know? All right, you know that big preacher from the United States, that name Paul Lewis. That man traveled the whole world preaching and licked down principalities and powers when he reached to Westmoreland. Oh, Shia, where are you? You're not here. And the man minister crash it across our Westmoreland. You ever know nobody from Westmoreland will raise up in a ministry and do well? No, because of West, there's the high class demons in there. Where is the worship? You're not coming with me, man. It's kind of flat, you know, man. You're not going to lick Bishop Baker get. <laughs> All right, if you don't believe me, go read the book. I read from the Gotamos. I am preaching tonight. To the Otamos. And you will know the hell. I've been true just to be anointed because the devil is mad. Uh, Jesus, when Jesus is coming back, uh, he's not coming back to the west, uh, but look to the eastern sky. Come on, man. Anytime I talk, man, the Bible, me, I talk, me, I talk, fairy tale. Many times about Alice and the Wonderland. I don't preach that, man. When I preach, I preach Bible. Are uh, you coming with me? Because the word is infallible. So I stand on the word. Are uh, you coming now? And so now, when you talk about mountain, you're talking about high places. The Bible said this man, often time, go up in the mountain so the man is looking for deliverance and the bible now watch what luke the physician the doctor hallelujah here how he writes no this is more similar here how he write it he put it like this he said the man that was possessed is always in tombs when you talk about tomb you're talking about death when I talk about tomb, you're talking about the end of life. When I talk about tomb, you talk about being planted, being buried. This man is in a dead 
place. He's in a dead state. He's in a hopeless place. All right, we're coming a little bit more. And then the writer said, I'm running, please, that there are chains that is on his hands. Why they put chain on his hands? Oh, Lord, anytime hell want to block you, destroy you. He's trying to stop the works of thine hand anytime they want to put an end to you they put unclean spirits to block what you do and so this man was bound in his doings you're coming warriors man and the bible said change was on his feet Oh, Shia. So it limits where you go. Oh, anytime devils want to stop you, they just make sure you don't walk into your destiny. They, they do everything to block you from going over. If you can stay here, they will have you. But if you can break loose, Oh, I feel like I'm preach this thing tonight. You know. Where are the warriors that come from word from God? When he reach, the ship is over on the other side. Now Jesus met this man. This man is in a dark place. This man is living in tombs. In other words, the man destiny is dead. The devil kill his purpose and pack him oh shia that's what a tomb stands for huh? it means the end of you so the devil put the man there and now the man is bound and what blows my mind because this demon is he lacked the city this demon control the region and this deep name demon intention is to block jesus from getting in the city so the demon that is in the man run to jesus to destroy jesus to block him i could see that demons you know them demons that just block some prophet from coming over them demons that just block some preacher from coming over then demon just hold the city lock and no and the jewish people the, the pharisees and the scribes and the ncs all these men would never go over this region so the demon come to defend the territory but somebody fresh one they have never experienced before the conquering lion out of judah is on the scene and now the demon come to block him from coming over but when the demon face the glory the authority and dominion that was on our lord jesus christ instead of fighting the demon fall down and instead of keeping the man in bondage the man start worship because I don't care how bone you are I don't care how deep you are I don't care how much short seeing is on you I don't care what kind of tomb you're in if you open your mouth and begin to worship somebody up your mouth throw your head back up your mouth don't let no demon keep your mouth shut up your mouth and say hallelujah Sit down, please. Don't scare the visitors. Uh, I said the Adventists is in the building. Sit tight. Where is the worship? And the mom is in here. And Jehovah is in the building. So sit down. Don't scare them off too soon. We are the worshipers. Touch your neighbor. Say, this is the apostolic church, please. This is a church of fire. And this is a church of boom. If you come at this church and you're not getting no blessing, don't blame it on nobody. And you keep your mouth shut because your mouth is given to you for deliverance. They put him in the tomb and park him. But he opened his mouth because Jesus is on his way. And when he begins to worship, demon got to back up. Where is the worshipers? You better throw your head back. Shout a glory. Slap that seat and say, military take over. Sit down in the takeover, please. Shire. The demons come to defend his territory. 
but the glory that is on Christ Jesus. Uh, bind the demons. The demon is now shut down. The demons now is under pressure. A long time you have people under pressure, devil, but somebody's on the scene with a cutting edge anointing. Somebody's on the scene. No devil in hell never see this one before. This one carries so much power. The spirit is given to this one without measure. Oh Lord, this one is God wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in flesh. This one is Emmanuel, baby. This one unto us a child is born that's him and unto us a son is given that's him the government is on his shoulder his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god and the everlasting father slap your neighbor say he's on the scene baby sit down again please don't scare them off sit down and so now now these demons that have the city lock is now under pressure this demon that have the city lock mm -hmm, greater glory greater power fire power fire glory heaven's anointing heaven power zoe power eternal power everlasting power is on the sea Oh, Shire. Now the demons begin to shout out and say, You over there, sir. And we over here, sir. Where you come over here, sir, come do. And Jesus wants him to know anywhere I go belongs to me because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world's and they that well dear in it is him in the beginning declare let there be light and darkness got to hold back it is him that is the light of the world it is him that met David and David picked up the pen when he was testifying of him and he said the Lord he is my light and my salvation I no fear doppy I no fear where is the worshippers? Sit tight, preaching is in my belly. Sit tight, please. I'm gonna try my best. But every now and then, Bishop, I feel preaching in my big tour. I just feel the Holy Ghost running up and down all over my body. Where is the warriors? Up near my mouth. Put a praise on that. Sit tight again. Now, Jesus have this demons pang gun pint holy ghost stick up your old dragon holy ghost have him under gun pint shanda basaya demon a shiver now you think you're bad you have the territory but greater than you is on the scene who am i talking to stick up with dopey Two hand high now. Come on, where is the worshippers? And Jesus said, What you doing, man? Why you, you, you have this man? Why you have this man under so much pressure? Demon that shiver now and a shake. Jesus said, What your name, boy? Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers? Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus knew him already, you know. But Jesus wants him to reveal himself to the apostles because a revelation. So much a revelation makes you powerful. And anytime God said give you revelation, you begin to walk in the divine, divine will of God. Revelation usher you in divinity. Revelation makes you powerful. Come on, somebody. And so Jesus wants to reveal the realms of the spirit to the apostles. So Jesus now stick up your old dragon and say, What is your name? Him two hands out of here. Him say, My name is Legion. 
Oshaya. Shanga. Are you coming with me, please? I want to bring it out. So give me about five now, please. When let me go in. Tell the neighbor, Bishop, don't only preach. He carries an anointing to teach every now and then. So tell the neighbor, neighbor, he's my teaching priest. Teaching priest. Have your way. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. And so this is the only time in the New Testament Jesus holding these kind of conversations with unclean spirit. He's now asking the unclean spirit what is his name? Come on somebody. That no means they ever go and go ask demons with their name. You know some preacher them just want Oh, Shia, tell your neighbor, Jesus was not setting an example there. This was not a doctrine, baby. If it was a doctrine, you would have seen Peter and Paul and John follow. Where is the worshippers? Uh, Jesus, Jesus is now pulling from Old Testament. He's bringing out a revelation to the New Testament preachers. Because a few months, a few two years from now, these boys are going to get the keys. So they need to understand that Jesus is the one that have the keys. Touch your neighbor. Jesus is the one that have power over unclean spirit. You don't have none. Only when God gives you have it. So stop going like you're powerful. There is one power host. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're coming with me warriors. So don't go on like you're big and you're bad. A one big bad down around the place. His name is Yeshua. I'm a sure. Jesus Christus. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're coming with me. So now watch this. So Jesus ask the demon what is your name and the demon said i am legion many i want to talk to somebody a little bit because it's the reason why jesus asks the demon his name you see the word legion legion is a military term it's a military word it's a it's a latin word and when you say legion it's a body of soldiers about 6,000 soldiers, including horsemen and foot soldiers. So when you talk about legion, you're talking about some, are you coming with me? So it's a Latin origin. Uh, so it comes from the Romans. They are the ones that use the word legion. And every time they say legion, they're speaking of a certain amount of soldiers that is under a certain man. You know, like a battalion, you're coming with me. It describes the group of, of it describes a group of fierce fighters. You know, reference to Roman regim regiment. You're coming with me. So now, we, so when Jesus asks the demon the question. And the demon said, we are legion. The demon is pointing to Jesus that a certain amount of warring demons have this region lack. They control this region. But I want to go in the word tonight. Can I go in the word, please? Can I take five minutes and go in the word? So now the demons that have this man under pressure, his name is Legion. 
it six over 6,000 unclean spirit. Hold this man in bondage. Have him in tombs. And have chains on his hands. And chains on his feet. These demons pack this man. But then we wonder what about this man? Why legion? Why this man is so powerful that it takes hell six thousand unclean spirit to pack this man are oh, you coming with me please all right now i want you to understand this because when we talk about legion when you go to the origin of legion we go back to a word they call it the root for the word legion is called troop Somebody said troop. And a troop is, 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 is a set amount. Just as I would say a set amount of fighters. There are legion, there are warriors. So is it. Shia Basaya. So is it. In the origin. In the Old Testament. That word exists. And the Hebrew people have knowledge they understand what is a legion because in the Hebrew language it is troop you're coming with me when you say troop you are referring to a band a raiding band a troop of robbers a, a troop of robbers yes a, a, a band of robbers troops speak of a crowd especially of soldiers it speak of an army army a band or a company of soldiers are you with me so we're going back a little bit please can you give me five minutes to bring out this please now when jesus said let us go over to the other side he is going over to the gatherings somebody said gatherings when you say gatherings you are talking it's two it's two words you know god somebody said god not g-o-d g-a-d and god so when he said we're going over to the gatherings he literally said we're going to the gatherites or the gadites when he said we're going to the gatherings he's speaking of a set of people that is from a tribe the tribe of god are you coming with me yes the gadites are from the tribe of god now god is the seventh son of leah now we know who is Leah. Leah is Jacob's first wife. Remember, Jacob went over to Laban and sees his daughter when he have Rachel and love of Rachel. And Laban said, you have to work seven years for Rachel. And when the night of the wedding, the consummation of the wedding, when the man finish and, and take off the veil, the man realized, say, I know the one way love in get. I insist I get bishop. I don't know how that happened, you know. Because, boy, I don't know. Make that stay. Fix that. I don't go into that. You do the match with that. But Jacob sleep with her. And when he day break, he realized, say, I lay and the one way I love. And then Laban just fix him well good because him is a trickster, you know. And somebody bigger than him in a trickster. Big, you know, a bigger tricker than you know. Because he always going to bishop. You see, Jacob a boy tricker. No. But Laban a uncle tricker. Yes, sir. Right, let's have church, please. And so Laban fix him well good and make him work seven years without Laban. You can imagine he work seven years for you. For one wife, I buy, I buy that. 
All right, come back. Where is the worship? As a Bible, don't look for me like that. I'm a bishop of Bible. The man works seven years for one lady. Bible, that's Bible. Don't look at me like that. And somehow, a bad deceiver, a can artist, fix him well good and give him the wrong one. And he wake up in the man and say, God, what did you do, my man? You work me with seven years, year, man. And you, and, and, and yeah, you say, you're yeah, my uncle, man. And look what you do, my man. You trick me, man. What's that, man? And the man said, no, and I say, go over here. If, if, if over this place here, we can we can make the younger daughter mad before the older one. Our wife and the child. All right, come back. We are the worship person. No, so uh, give you have to work as safe and here. Same work, seven more year for the one we love. Touch your neighbor, say when you love her, work for her. All right, come back. We're not missing tonight. Tell somebody Bishop has stand flat foot. Yes. Now run, we'll go back on topic. Where is the worshippers in here? And so now he work and added seven years. And now we see, I'm not going through all of that, but guess what? The one we love, whom shot? And the one where? Them trick him in a womb open. So you know someone battle did it, you know, go ready. Battle a fight and battle, you know, battle in strange places, battle in a bedroom. Who are going tonight and who all right and and jacob and russell and you know we go and the bible said that leah have baby leah have baby leah have four of them and, and then leah reached one certain age when give up childbearing and he still want baby again and so the bible said leah taking me you're not coming with me and after leah taking me him take him near and said, Listen now, Jacob, I want more baby. Go sleep with me near there. You know, go with the man Drake. We're not going through that tonight. And him sleep with Zilpa, Leah, maid, and baby born. So the baby now is Jacob's seventh son. And the Bible said that when the baby born, Leah say, God, give me a troop. So his name is God. So the word God mean a troop. If you bear with me, you understand the message tonight. If you bear with me, you're going to get the revelation tonight. So touch your neighbor and say, sit tight, man. I make we talk a little bit. So the baby born and the baby name Troop. Somebody said Troop. I remember what Troop mean. Troop and Legion. Come on, man. Let's have some church, man. You're coming with me. Now, watch this. In Genesis 30 and verse 11, Leah said, A Troop comet. And she called his name God. But when Jacob was about to die, he called his 12 sons. Where is the worshippers? And begin to bless his sons and prophesy over his sons. Can I bring you one favorite statement that we repeat all the time? In Genesis, that's Genesis 49. You read it when you go home. And verse 8 says this. When Judah came before him, he began to prophesy, lay his hand on his son Judah, his fourth son. And he began to prophesy over Judah. He said, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. You must see somebody, you know. Uh, uh, you know, you must see. You must see Shiloh, you know. You are the one where your brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion well from thy prey my son 
thou art gone up he stooped down he crouched as a lion as an old lion who shall rose him up you're coming with me then he said the scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from before his feet betwixt his feet until one is coming baby until he's coming baby he's coming and you know why he's coming until Shiloh come and when Shiloh is on the scene unto him shall be the gathering of his people antichrist chatter but the Christ gather. Oh, Shia, I tell you which side are you on? If you're on the anti side, you try to scatter the church, you try to divide and fight in the church but if you carry the anointing the unction of the Holy Ghost if he sit on you you become a gatherer you don't fight the church you defend the church you don't fight the church you protect the church you don't tear the church you men sit tight please and so when Shiloh come he will gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel are you coming with me now let's skip over now that's son number four but we he continued to lay hands and prophesy but when he reached come on somebody to the son named God he opened his mouth guess what it says when he's reached to God Bishop it says I have waited for thy salvation O Lord I'm reading Genesis 49 and verse 18 he said about God I am waiting for I have waited for the salvation O Lord then verse 19 God a true shall overcome thee so when he reached to God Jacob said a troop shall overcome thee oh Shia but you shall overcome at the end you shall overcome at the last in other words Jacob prophesied from in Genesis that God a troop I go overcome you but at the end you are going to overcome the troop you're not coming in a man. Somebody still now come with the message. You now go back to Facebook and go back to youth and go back. Uh, Mr. Tiki. Oh no, you can't go back to Tiki, don't you? No, go back to YouTube. You just ring this message about five times and then you will get the revy. Are you coming with me? Now, watch this now. When Israel reached the promised land, and now they pass the Jordan, they reach the Jordan, and they go over the Jordan. And now Moses begin to talk to Joshua and start to allot the land of Canaan, start to divide it. Which tribe must get what portion of the land? You remember, man? Remember that 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 that, that, that Caleb gets the hill because he did have faith, and God just put him up atop there. So you remember. You're not coming with me. When they reach the promised land, Joshua begin to divide the land to each tribe. In Joshua 13 verse 8, 18, Joshua said, and with whom? It says, and with whom? The Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance. So the Gadites and the Reubenites get a piece of the land. Uh, which Moses gave unto them beyond the Jordan. But guess what it said? The east, the Jordan eastward, even to them God gave the land. So the Gadites, God generation, the Gadonites are the 
gotta reach you coming with me they receive their land beyond jordan on the east of jordan you're coming with me now in chronicles first chronicles 12 verse 14 says about the godites about the sons of god the descendants of God. Chronicles 14, 12, 14 says, These were the sons of God. Captains of the army. So the army in Israel, the Godites, the sons of God, they were the captains of the army. They were the captain of Israel army. You're coming with me. Shia Basaya. One, the least of the captains was over a hundred men. Anybody ever hear the word centurions? Anybody know who's a centurion? Tell me the man. A centurion is a captain that's responsible for a troop. And the troop is a hundred. You're coming with me. Please, man, come on. Man. Touch somebody. Say, come on, let's have church. And the Bible said, and the greatest of the sons of God, they were captains over a thousand. So, they were leaders of troops. Some lead a hundred some lead a thousand they are responsible for the army so they are captains and generals are you coming with me oh jesus oh lord i love how god put it in a man because now we see your centuries somebody says centuries later tell somebody centuries later come on shiloh show up years after that come on somebody centuries later the conquering lion of the tribe of judah came on the scene and all of a sudden he's in a ship and a multitude stand before him. He's preaching to a great multitude. And him just step and turn to his disciples. And say, let us go over on the other side. Are you coming with me, warriors? Let us go over. Let go visit the gatherings. Jesus said, I have to go look for the Godites and have a troop over there. Come on, somebody. There is a set of people over there that I need to go restore. You know? I need to go fix. I need to put things in order. There are some Godites, some captains and generals that is over on the other side. But guess what? There is a military takeover. The unclean world took over the Godites. The unclean world control the territory. The unclean world have them under bondage. And I am come to bring liberty to the Godites. Let's go over the gatherings. Come on, warriors. And when we talk about the God, I try to let you know. Let me re repeat it one more time. It is where, the, where God lives. When you talk about the gatherings, is the piece of land that God gives to God. When they go over, it's their position. God gives them it. And the name of the place is called by its owner. 
coming with me, you know, man. So God give it to them. So the, the, the piece of land named God of reach. It belongs to the Godites, the descendant of God. Come on, Jesus said, I must go over. It blows my mind now because when I read this verse, my mind pop open because this is not the first time we see Jesus have to go somewhere, you know. Come on, somebody, because remember that he said to his disciples, I must go through Samaria. And when God said, Mercy, mean he must. And when we look, he have an invitation. He have an appointment with destiny. You see, who is going there to see? Society reject. Who is going there to see? Society write off. She married five times. And them divorce her. And the fifth, the sixth man is adulterous man. You're not coming with me. So Jesus says, I must go to Samaria. Remember, I told you what is Samaria already, you know. Do I have to go through that again? Remember who is Samaria, man? Remember, say 12 tribe in a bishop. And you know when 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 the sons of Solomon were Hobaham and, and Jehovah. You remember what God Bishop? And he chose to listen listen to the young people and don't listen to the older folks and then because of that God split the place he split Israel in two Judah and Reuben over here sir you're not coming with me and the other tribe the ten tribe over here sir one pan in north and one pan in south so the ten tribe is called Israel and the other two tribe is called Judah you're not coming with me man and then Israel's a mix with the Assyrians and God get vexed you know and that's how the mixture the pollution it the Samaritan when I talk about Samaria, Samaria become the capital huh, of Israel. Then after a while, the Jews, somebody said Judah, them and them named the Jews. They said them that have no dealing with the Samaritans and Israel, them attack, you know. But because Israel intertwine and Israel mix them blood, the Jews are going to have none to do with them. And Jews now walk through Samaria. They're not coming with me. But Jesus said, no devil now win. If the devil takes Samaria, Samaria belongs to God. So I must go. Oh, Shia, you're not take over. You know, where is the worshippers in here? I wonder if anybody ready to take back what the enemy stolen. So when Jesus said, I must go through Samaria, he was saying, me, I go back, go take what the devil steal from me. The ten tribe belongs to me, and I'm going to take them back. I'm here to take back the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So I must go through Samaria. And you then I priest would. You are priest. You are NCs. You are Pharisees. You are you are some big neck. There is a verse person here. And 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 Jesus I may need somebody you know. Fit me can use fit take it back. And can you imagine Jesus I look somebody for you Come on, no man, help me, no man. And Jesus, step over all the man them in Israel. They don't come with me, you know. I'm going to find one, look up, woman. Me think you woman did maga. All right, you can say him fat if you want. Me think I want to look up maga, wind you, woman. You're not coming with me, you know, man. But Jesus said, me not look by your status. Me not look by your shape. I look on how much mistake you make. I look on your willingness. Where is the worshippers? And Jesus sent him disciples. He said, go on to the city, go buy some food. Because Jesus no want no interference. You see, anytime God go raise up somebody, he might always pull them aside. You see, anytime God go lift up somebody, he might always find people who ostracize you. Reject you and the one you among them. Your best friend turn them back. Your family member become your enemy. And he just put you in a one quiet place. When God want to whisper in your ears, he might always just find some ways to make you there one place by yourself. Come on, somebody. You know, like, when he want to write the book of Revelation, how oh, him just make them take John and beat him and beat him and throw him in a hot pot of boiling oil and just take him and camp on one island by himself in a one quiet place so him can reveal 
You're not coming with me in a man. So Jesus sent the disciples to go into the city. And Jesus went. Oh, shy. I thought somebody said Jesus went to the well of Sychar. Now remember, I said Jacob well, you know. So that means if I Jacob well, that means I was by Jacob live. And if I was by Jacob live, that means I was an Israeli place name. But we don't know how to start calling Samaria now. All right, next week. We raise the worship. Come on, no man. We have church, no man. And so, so Jesus said, hey, you see, right this well, this is well, a Jacob place. And we want to switch your name and call it Samaria. But guess what? I can turn this place upside down. I may have an appointment with destiny. Destiny and purpose must collide at the well. So Jesus makes sure that nobody else is there at the well. I she alone there at the well. And no disciple nothing there at the well. Neither go on. So Jesus met her at the well. And Jesus said, I have a drink for you. And you say, if you ever get this drink, you can't keep it to yourself. Anybody get Holy Ghost, can't keep Holy Ghost to yourself. There's no quiet Holy Ghost. No cool, cool, icy mint Holy Ghost. If you have real Holy Ghost, you bark like that. All right, next week. If you have real Holy Ghost, fire must blaze. If you have real Holy Ghost, when demon walk in your bedroom, or when you sleep, tongues are lick out of your mouth. Who am I preaching to? When Holy Ghost in your belly, and if up there come on the scene, Holy Ghost rise up in your spirit. You start speaking tongues, or when you're in the bank line, when in a Western Union, Somebody open your mouth and shabak. Open your mouth and yada. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody said destiny and purpose must meet at the well. Where are the warriors? I said destiny and purpose must collide at Rehobat. Tell the name of Rehobat. I break out. I break free. I break through is at the well I don't care what kind of generational curse is upon you I don't care what kind of limitation is on you I break out is at the well and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water open your mouth in here if you got it put your hand on your belly river test let it out let it out. Let the water flow. Holy Ghost check. Somebody say, Holy Ghost check. Somebody say, Holy Ghost check. If you have the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost check. Out of your belly. He said, If anybody drink this water, come on, warriors. He will thirst again. But if you drink the water that I give, it shall be in you a well springing up into eternal life. Somebody take a half a minute, throw your head back, and say, He visit me. Have a seat now, please. Have a seat now, please. Have a seat now, please. And we know the story pretty well. That the woman was fulfilling destiny. The woman ran off into Samaria. And said, come see a man. She evangelized the whole city. Oh, Shaya Basa. Shanda Basaya. Then after she evangelized, we know years, probably about close to seven to eleven months later. Here comes Philip at the same place. The reason why Samaria responds 
to Philip the way they did yes, is because they heard already. Yes, they see this woman who was a nothing. How her life is transformed. And how God take her from the gutter. Oh, Shia. And shift her to the uttermost. So when Philip start to preach. Oh my God, Jesus, where is the worship in here, man? Slap about three people and tell them, tell everybody you know. That baptism in Jesus' name is the way to baptize. Oh, Shia, Basa. Tell about three more people. Tell everybody you know. That in filling baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues is real. Yes, Come on, the man is kind of flat. So touch your neighbor. Say, don't only say it when you're there at church. When you go home, say it to everybody. Just tell your Jehovah's Witness and your Seventh-day Adventist and your, you know them. Just tell them and lefty. Where is the worshippers in here? You might be the woman at the well. You're not carrying on power, but you carry the message. So just let go the message because somebody has come behind you. Who oh, shire can confirm your word with signs and wonders? Who am I talking to? The woman never healed one somebody. The woman never cast out one devil. All the woman do just talk what she see. Where is the worshippers in here? Slap two people and tell them, you don't talk what you see. You come to church and say, God, I work. Just talk what you see. Cancer heal. Talk what you see. Who oh, shire? You don't, know, you don't need to know from Genesis to Revelation. Just talk what you see. Oh, Shia, where is the worshippers? You're not coming with me, man. Yeah, should I repeat that? Philip. Somebody said Philip. Nathaniel. Somebody said Nathaniel. We run, go to Nathaniel and say, guess what I'm now? We find the man, you know. You see the man where Moses talk about? We find him. He is Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. You hear me? You see when the man said, the man with Nathaniel. And Nathaniel win this man. And that. In other, I, I mean, a pastor man win, you know. And when preach, not accurate, you know. A Jesus of Nazareth, but guess what? And a Joseph fit me. So touch your neighbor, say, you know, if you know Genesis to Revelation, no, just start the verse and let yes, me. Where is the worshippers in here? Just start where you know. Where is the worshippers? That's a flat man. There's a warriors in here. When they want back up in our account, not about it is written in, in, in Exodus 20 that remember the seventh day to hold it, keep it holy. Just say, all right, come on, church. You don't need, you don't know the Bible yet. You don't need to go in and back with him. Tell them what you see. Because them are different. Them are different. Letter. But you are talking about spirit. Oh, tell them about. Tell them the letter kill. But the spirit give it life. It's the worshippers in here, man. So, so them are talking about letter. You can, hey, you can repeat from Genesis to Exodus to Leviticus to Numbers and Deuteronomy. I know every T and every that. If you don't have power. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat. Too tight. So when them I repeat Bible verse back to back, you don't even go in another battle with them. So guess what? I know somebody we can go in a fear battle. Me, no, me, 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 me are the woman at the well. Me don't need to come and tell you everything. Me are the woman at the well. Me will find Philip for you. Just come. Me see one lady come to church and he never have no eyeball and he get prayer. I grow back. Eyeball grow back. Come to church. Come see. Me know somebody where we have four degree cancer and, and Bishop pray for him and, and, and he heal. Me know somebody with HIV AIDS. Where is the worshippers in here? It's kind of flat in a man. Me no need, me no need, me no need for you know, no, no Genesis back with you. I me no need for you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You go in all the world baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son. You don't need to make him know, say, hey, listen to the Sego. Jesus never said the names, he said the name. So Father, Son, and Holy Ghost have one. You don't need to go in another thing, you don't know it. All of those tell him, say, hey, you see me? Me did liar. Oh I did thief. Hey, me did under bondage. Me did want stop smoke. Me did want stop. I me couldn't stop. I me 
come to church one night and my heart was not right and something got a hold of me he picks me up he turned me around he plant my feet just tell them say if any man be in Christ he's a new creation all things come on the warriors man where are you man and anytime real needs come anytime real problem start walk then remember your testimony you're not coming with me man where is the worshippers in here you know the amount of persons where he used to call me other man but as soon as hell slapped them they forgot that they used to call me that where is the worshippers in here all right you're not coming with me now. you know bishop you know the amount of them used to give me hell but you see when Mr. Trouble reach at them back door, man of God, we know you are a man of God, powerful man of God. I have a situation, I know I may prove you, I may see you, I may watch you on Facebook, I may know God I use you, man of God. Here is the worshippers in here, it's kind of flat. Come on, where are the warriors? Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Say you don't need to go in and battle with them. You don't need to try to prove nothing with them. If they call your bishop up your man, you don't need to curse. Bishop don't want you to defend him. God defend who he can. Oh, Jesus, where is the worship as it is? It's a good time to punch this now. You have some persons who call themselves preachers. I said they call themselves bishop. And them, because some of them can't read and write good. And them can't talk. So, them talk. Then go into the bathroom and practice. Like, ha, ha. You know? And then come and then preach. And then go on to the different platforms. A fame and popularity them a look. Them want to become famous and popular. So what they do, them look for persons who then think famous. And they attack them. Listen. It's a world strategy. Like being a man a mash up a place, a bunch of killer mash up a place. And one artist want to become big. You know, Hindu? Hindu one song and call being a man name. Hindu one song. Listen to me, Church of God. Hindu one song and call bunch of killer name. When we literally I do. He might try to get particular fans on his side for, for know him. So, when do he attack the person over there? So, person over there where he hears somebody attack, start go over there. But it's the strategy to get views. Now, listen to me now. I learned this. Mr. And Mrs., I learned this. Write down this because you're going to prove it. You see the one with Billy House? If I know the Lord of Billy House, you're Billy in vain. You see the man where I make his own name? I serve him. Come let us build us a city. Come let us build us a tower. And let us build a name for ourselves. You we are trying to make name of our people. Look out. Because guess what? God have a people, Bishop. Where we not go look for him. We not go look popularity. We not go up on Facebook and uh, give live. Where is the worshippers? And I look for likes. I don't even read comments on Facebook. Where is the worshippers in here? Let me, let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Mr. Demons. Oh, sorry. Mr. Not even comments me no look on. I have no time for that. I mean, I not look on followers. I don't have any time for that. I don't look for try to become famous and popular. My desire is for souls to be saved. That's what I'm called for. The reason why I preach so often because I want the people of God to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
The reason why, the reason why I'm not preach for 45 minutes, I can. The reason why I don't preach for half an hour, I can. God, me not try for, me not try for, and the reason why me not try for be professional in preaching, because I want God to be way. I can practice and make sure my grammar is intact. You never know that. You can't read that right, so I can't practice it. There is a worshippers in here. But the truth is, I don't have no time for that. The truth is, I don't talk to people who speak Spanish. You are Jamaican. And you understand what I say. There is a worshippers in here. And, and, and if you're not like, if you, if you don't like my grammar, you don't like the way how I chop and cut it, that simple mean I was not sent to you. So just click. Where is the worshippers in here? Up your mouth, man. It's kind of flat. You're coming, me warriors. So, this preacher, I learned this. You go and read Genesis 11 and Genesis 12. The spirit of Antichrist, Nimrod. The spirit of Antichrist, who? Nimrod. The spirit of Antichrist, who? Nimrod. Nimrod say, let us build for ourselves. You will try to build a name and fight God people. All them pastors that we are call up pastor name. Like them a Rurlian. Like them a bone to kill and be in a man. Like them a wife's cartel and all those. Where is the worshippers in here? You're a man of God, man. Preach your word and leave it. Where is the warriors? Come on, man. Say something, man. Come on, warriors, man. Say something, man. I will only call a man of God name, a pastor name, if I'm saying good. Where is the worshippers? I learned that already. And so I don't, I don't. I learned never to follow the spirit of the Antichrist. The Antichrist spirit, listen to me. We read it earlier. When Shiloh come, unto him shall be the gathering of the people. The spirit of Antichrist is the spirit of dispatch, the spirit of scattering. That's what COVID came and do. COVID came to scatter the church, to take you out of the church. You hear me about the spirit of Jesus Christ is to gather together in the church. The spirit that tried to scatter the church and fight the church is the spirit of an antichrist. That spirit, you try to build a name for yourself. But I have news for you. There is a set of leaders who don't try to build name for themselves. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 said, God called Abraham and said, come walk before me. I'll make a name for you. I will make your name great. I will give you houses you didn't build. I'll give you vineyards you didn't plant. And I will make your name great. You know how God made man and woman are God name great? You want to hear preacher? Come here. God used persecution to build his church name. Where is the worshippers? So, can I repeat that again? Anybody come forward? Can I repeat that? Persecution is a tool of advertisement for the church. You hear that? Persecution is the tool of advertisement for the man of God or the woman of God. Anytime God wants the man of God to go wider, he just allow it all antichrist spirit to attack him. And when you now start calling the man of God so name, somebody just said, I want to see how this man that. When you call the man of God, oh, be a man. Somebody said, when him? Yes, yeah, so when you're gone, then type in the name on YouTube and Facebook. And say, I want to know. I know who this man of them are talking about. And you see, when, when then tune in, God does use the man of God for just say something to them. And they say, oh my God, this man is sent from God. Where is the worshiper? So while you persecute the man of God and the woman of God, God uh, make the man of God and the woman again become more popular. Where is the worshiper? They say, I'm not Jamaica who didn't love me, sir. Oh, Come on, man. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. Me say in a Jamaica, you, you know what I'm saying? 
And I said, hello, Brother Benjamin. I'm going to go to Africa then. I go over here to them. So you see, when they say, yo, I'm an Obia man. A man can't read, you see? Yo, that man they can't read up good. Yeah, he just, that the man they around the place, I know, man. That the man they can't see. Someone say, eh. Mm. Me not got to the church day. Me not got over church. But guess where they're there? They're right by TikTok. Right by Facebook. They make sure they say notification, don't miss them. We receive worship. I say something, no man. And then make sure you send them right off the number. And then they shoot me on WhatsApp. Man of God, I'm going through this. But them know and God knows how other man people are called me, make them know me. We receive worshipers. And when them shoot the text, oh God, one prayer, just one. Just when because most time when I answer one WhatsApp, you know, I don't answer with more than five words and four words. I just say, I will pray this morning. Bop, it done. You don't hear me? Me don't have a compound on phone with you. We are reserve worshippers in here. Slap your neighbor, say real prayer up on phone. Yes, you never know? Okay. It's a religious concept. Have nothing to do with the kingdom. No. When somebody asks every prayer, I pray for them over the phone. That no have nothing to do with the kingdom. No, Tell somebody tell them that's not real. And I truth. You don't fight me. No. When I say not real, I me mean say, it can't happen, you know, it can't work, but yeah. really and truly. I know that God asks me. No. God says, yes, when you are asked me for prayer, when you make your request known to me, me go in my closet yes. and go talk to God in a secret. Yes. And God who is in the secret, here in secret, and do what? Yes. And work in the open. So somebody will say, boy, I'm there. go through this. I may ask this person for prayer. And when this person prayer has shifted, please, you can't tell them, say, them, God, no, no, the man, where is the worshippers in here? I understand Bishop, but some of them love women. Just say, look why some of them vexing you know? them. Yes. Because they love talk by phone. Yes, sir. And they love you psychology. Yes, and when they don't talk by phone, I'll say them, I pray for you speaking. I'm, oh, the Lord, oh, eternal God, oh Father. And when they done in you know, a master, oh, Jesus. you feel so convinced. Yes. Hear them now when, when they finish. The Lord said you must sow two thousand dollars, and you like an idiot. No, I buy you just buy prayer, you know. Yes. Where is the worshippers? Man, say something, no man. Come on, no man. So the bad mind, yes, Bishop. So me no join for them line, you know. Me stand by myself. You know, hear me. Me no need nobody for boots. Me, me no need nobody for talk about me. Me no need me just go on or hold me lean. I me them a fight. Me just hold my lane and just do what God called me for do. You hear me, Bishop? Yes. They know the covetous and the bad mind. You see, like when I'm here and I preach and somebody come drop the money on my foot. One bad mind pastor. I don't let me tell man, talk it short. One bad mind preacher. Some of them, some of them, you can ask them pastor about the money, we tell you. Anytime you hear somebody where you know. I lick out palm upon those platform. Ask them pastor about them. Go to them pastor. I promise you this. Go to them pastor. And them pastor go tell us, you see that one? You see that something with the way you start? I don't know about it. I'm in my church then day. And right in my church, then have a church in my church. Right in my church, then start one live. A popularity them a look. So they might try them see Bishop Baker preach all two o'clock at night and three o'clock at night and they might say, we never see this yet. Here all idiot them now no and most demons. Where is the worshippers, man? I'm here to to you the truth. Where is the worshippers in here? Them, so when them, when them see you walk and you drop the seed on my foot, them vex and covetous because them never see no harm to them and them never see it because them not in the first century. If they go back in a Bible time, they will realize that while Peter is preaching, oh Lord Jesus, Holy Ghost attack to people, people are selling land and bring it in a church, bring the money, come touch the man of God, throw it in food. 
Where is the worshippers in here, man? Do you want to believe us? Show your head back. And so we're going back to the book. You know, some of them come here and see me sit down here, so some of them see on facing. See me sit down here, so I see you come and drop your money. And then I say, Wait, my dear, sir. You never know. Tell the neighbor, say, a Bible. Anytime you see Bishop do something, just confront him and let him show you in the Bible. The Bible says, When it was offering time, Jesus went to the treasury. Stand up and watch every dollar we're going there. And when offering finished, Jesus turned to the disciples and said, Sit that lady down there, sir. As she threw the most money. How oh, Jesus, I said that if you never did turn up the look on the money, I go in heaven. You know, understand me? So Jesus stayed there and watched every dollar. Who would drop what? Then, when after he finished, Jesus said to the disciple, I said, That lady there, she only put two pence in her plate. But everything where she has, she gave. Where is the worship as in here? <laughs> so, when you come with your offering, I um, mean, stand up over it. I get a revelation that most of you not get. I get a revelation that money carries a spirit. I get a revelation that money have ears. Money have eyes. You know what money talk to? I want it too deep. You know, hear me, man? Tell somebody, say, money have ears, man. Just drag two people and say, money have ears. And if you don't believe me, go ask the wisest man in the Old Testament. He'll tell you some money of ears. And you know when he say? When you talk to money, money answer it all things. So, one, one, money answer it everything, all things, all things. As long as it is a thing, a money and the answer for that. All right, one one horse, huh? One one car, no? As long as it is things, it is money. So, eh, you, you see, so, what many always put one dead man for you? Don't it? I should have one lion there put on. Get to me, no bishop. Yeah. Why didn't you put on one beer for the money? Yes, <laughs> you know what, Mick? Yes, eh? Because a spirit is behind money. Jesus. A what? Spirit. And spirit of ears. Yes. Guess what? Yes. And that's why money can answer things. Because yes. money are here. Yes. Gone too deep, you know, man, sir. Religious folks gone home. Come out for the life. <laughs> And said, this a pastor, you talk about money. Shut your mouth. You know what you talk about. You want some money in your bank book. Shut your mouth. We is the worshippers? It's kind of flat. <laughs> My God. <laughs> All right, come back. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, bishop, 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 bishop. Bishop does know them are hangling on TikTok, you know. <laughs> and bishop does a laugh. And I say, you go and talk. <laughs> because I have a mic in my mouth, but me I hear you. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and give God one more praise, the man. Shia Basa. I have to read your comment for you know your comment. The Holy Ghost in me know your comment. And when you talk about a money, me you chat about a you understand and understand. Say everybody where God raised up to be power from the guttermost to the uttermost, money answer them. All right, then I get that. Elder Mullins, when we say from the guttermost to the uttermost, the, when we say the uttermost, listen to me now. When I say the uttermost, Bishop, I don't talk about big house and big car and something there. Get me? Good. So, uttermost no mean big house and big car. And, but guess what? Uttermost, call, pull, yes. drag big house and big everything. Yes. You not hear me? Yes. When I say the uttermost, I'm talking about a place that you walk in the authority of God. I'm talking about a place with the glory and the power, the dominion of citizen of the kingdom of God walking in your dominion. And anytime you start walking in your dominion, everything falls in place. When you start walking as a king and a priest, you have dominion over the things of this world. Jesus, where is the worshippers? When I say, go to Moses, I'm not talking about poverty. 
in the sense of lack of physical things. I'm talking about bondage. I'm talking about your action is bound by a spirit. Generational curse hold you in captivity. There's a set of demons that have you in tomb. You're a living dead. You are at a place. You are bound. Oh, Shia. You can do, you can go, you can have is the worshippers because spirits have your lack down but when God deliver you from gutter moss poverty got to walk out and leave you when God deliver you from gutter moss demon of lack got to back up who am I preaching to you better throw your head back and say Jesus says I must go over the gatherings come on the man it's kind of a little bit too flat come on I want you to understand this, that the man that Jesus went over the other side to visit was a son, a descendant of God. G-A-D, son of Jacob. The land, the territory, the Gadarenes, the Gadites. was overtaken by a set of demons. Those demons are called warring demons. They are like soldiers, warriors. These demons take over the territory and have the place lack. You're coming with me. These people that they have in bondage. Remember, in the Old Testament, these were the captains. These were the generals of the army of Israel. But all of a sudden, these armies are now in bondage by hell. So then that hell from that time see these set of people and know their purpose hell know that these people are called by God to be captains and generals they are the one that should lead Israel into battle but somehow somewhere down the line that a set of demon named legion Take over the whole territory. And the people who should be Israel. Sons of God. They are now doing all kind of unclean business. Because we see there was swines. I remember swines are unclean. And remember the Bible said it's a herd. And the Bible said the herd is about 2,000. In other words for Someone to own a herd of 2,000 hog. It simply means a business they might do. Yes, now the question is, how can you, an Israelite, a Jew, doing a business with the, uh, with the uh, accursed thing? Yes, sir. You mean God's enough you know, to touch this wine? God's enough you know, supposed to eat it? Remember that's the Old Testament. Don't get it twisted. So, how is it that these people know how to do business? I sell hog. Which word unclean thing in the Old Testament? So, these demons have them in such a way that, hallelujah, that they are doing the thing that is opposite to the God of heaven. But God said, I must go over the gatherings and I must deal with the enemy and I must defend my people. Shia Basaya. And I stop by to tell you that the legion that have the city lock that took over the territory. Come on, somebody. That demons, those demons, they know who God did have to be preacher there. You know? May I go to my message? I think I run for you tonight. 
Now run from you tonight. Yes, so these demons know the man. The unclean spirit identify something in that man. I used to ask God, what about me, sir? Why my life so rough? You're not hearing me. I was in the, the room and I tell you something. I, I told them that Bishop, you was in there. That my youthful days, my child days were not ordinary. My childish days, if I get in a vehicle and I drive over 10 miles, I trope. Me get sick and weak. I can't function for half a day. So me just can't travel because me have motion sickness. And I told them that I used to play football, you know, and me did bad on the ball. And every time our team, I used to play for Arena under 16 first. When I used to play for Arena under 16, every time we leave the parish, me now function. When we are playing match down in, in Westmoreland, down here, all five, six goals, I want to score. But anytime we travel, Bishop, when we travel, everybody gone out of the bus and me then at the bus asleep. Because in order for me to travel, me have to take traveling pill. And those days, me never know, me never know say two types of traveling pill. You have the generic one and the, and the original one. And me buy the cheaper one. So after me taking me gone again, where is the worshippers in here? So my childish life, oh my God, for about, about five, six years now, today was the first time something like that happened to me. When I tried to leave, I went, oh, I, I was supposed to go to Montego Bay today. And when I leave Savlamar, by the time I reach Dunbar's River, cold water wash me, want you up, feel bad. I pick up Evangelist Blackham at, at Simit Field. When I reach Simit Field, I have to step out of the vehicle, ask Evangelist to drive. By the time I reach up the road, my tribe will come out. By the time I reach up the road, my vomit. My childish days were not ordinary. I didn't have a life like yours. If I travel from south to foam, I vomit. Shayabasa, the devil knew my purpose. The devil knew my destiny. The devil knew that my purpose is to travel the world and preach the gospel. Shayabasa, where is the worshippers in here? I'm going in tonight in a semana. You better slap your neighbors from the bottomers to the Come on, say better read the book. You think you know me? You only hear something about me. Touch two people and tell them read from the gutter mouse. For if God do it for the nothing, he can do it for you. We are something. Where is the warriors in here? It's kind of a little bit too tight. Still a little bit too tight. Where is the worshiper? Should I? You want something more, Bishop? You want to hear something more? Eh? Is it for me? You days and an easy days, isn't it? Three year pan straight, it will happen to the four. Four year pan straight. July, every year. Woman tell life on me. Huh. Where is the worshippers in here? Yeah. You miss it here. Me say, one woman. Seen this, uh, I win that day. Me did I, I, me just in, in shut up somebody. I said, you never did that, no, me did it. Oh. Uh, somebody had tell lie. Bomb me rip, woman. And him said, You never did it. Me did it. So I'm going to tell you what I'm. Yes, sir. So me and him and one next friend named Shaba. Yes, sir. And you know who Shaba is? Yes, yes, me and you and him and with a par. And Shaba, Bishop, and the girl going to her room. He not going there, no more, sir. <laughs> Jojo not going there, no. <laughs> and Shaba and the girl in there, I'm here. Listen, and then the girl go walk out. Bishop, get a phone name call. <laughs> see Jojo there. Jojo, if I throw me a talk, say something. Run, go get Jojo, my friend. <laughs> 
It's the truth. I mean, I say truth because he knew me. No, sir. I say truth because I attack, I test, I side, I pop out. Where is the worshippers in here? Yeah. I feel my name call. Yes. I feel my poor sister in New York named Sonia. I send fourteen thousand dollars come. I may have to pay off the girl. Yes, sir. And shop away any girl tonight. I'm not pay a dollar. <laughs> Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, man. It's kind of flat. You, you know the you know the case when I have the last one case. You know the last case when I have. A one year after that allegation drop on me. Nine months later. You know you say? Make it on. Make it stay. <laughs> no. I want to get every little try that with me. No man, principality is something about me. Principalities know that we're supposed to travel the world. So if you don't have no record, if you don't have no record, you can't travel. So you must be pinned down in this little island. You never go go the world, go blow the world. Where is the worshippers in here? Shia Basa. Bishop, the last time it threw up, I mean, I feel this way and threw up probably about five years ago. And today we are going to evangelist Black, Black Arm. I go go get my record. I am almost dead. Me here, hello, me here, evangelist, black man, I say, Bishop, from me, no, I never see you look so yet. Man, you come like a hole, I'm a tripe, I come out. You hear me say, preach? I'm just smile, I say, oh. Traveling but me no mind, because God said, put a tan. And you know, say, tan, I want thee, man. You know, hear me, man, where is the worshippers in here, man? In Paul flesh. And Paul ball and say, God, please take it from me. Him cry one, two, three times. And God said, No, I'm going to move it. My strength is made perfect when the enemy are buffet you on every side. When they put pressure on you and the more power releasing you, who am I preaching to? Up me a mountain here. Up me a mountain here. Up me a mouth, tell two people you got to have a story. If you have no story, you will experience no glory. It's kind of a little bit too tight. Throw your head back and say, I have a story to tell. I know devil ain't gonna stop me from telling my story. And the heart of the battle, and the bigger the glory. Where is the warriors, man? It's kind of a little bit too tight. So legion hold down the place. The place that is called troop. The place that is called legion. Hell sell legion for buying legion. Hear me, man. Come on, no man. You're not coming, me, no man. It's kind of a little bit too tight, no man. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, when hell see your destiny, he appoint a certain type of demon to fight your destiny. But thanks be to God, whatever demon was sent to block your destiny, if you ever do like this man, him cry out in a man, him open him out and cry like David in a man. David said, this poor man cry unto the Lord and he heard me. Anybody have a cry? Come on. He said, hear my cry, O God. Attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. And when my heart can't hold it no more, when my heart is under pressure, he said, a broken heart and a contrite heart you will not despise can I find ten people that is crying he said to Moses Moses go down to Egypt because I come down I heard the cry of my people I've seen their pain and know their affliction and I am come down to bring them up in coming to the ghetto to take you to the altar is there ten people in here in coming to your sickness to make you a gift of healing. Who am I preaching to? He is the one who would raise up. Come on. A warrior in you. You see the man. The devils saw something in the man. 
the demons, Satan and hell, realize that this man is a shifter. And he assigned a set of demons called Legion. And said, Legion, I want you to chain up your hands. Legion, chain up your feet. Legion, put him in a tomb. Legion, lock up the box. Throw away the key. But thanks be to God. Legion never chain up his mouth. Legion make a mistake when he chain up the hand and chain up the feet and left the mouth open. If Legion have sense, he would know that deliverance is not in your hand. Deliverance is not in your feet. But deliverance come out of your mouth for when the praises goes up your deliverance somebody open your mouth if you feel like hell a sign legion to block you you must learn to open your mouth reach out when hell want to destroy your children open your mouth and intercede open your mouth and cry for tears is a language that only God understand where are the warriors in here man many 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 are the afflictions of the righteous somebody open your mouth no man it's kind of a little bit too flat leech and jam black open your mouth 16 six thousand demons yes open your mouth and say something Show your head back and let hell know you are unstoppable. I said, let hell know God have the last word in my life. Let hell know when Jesus show up, my deliverance show up. Where are the warriors, man? Open your mouth. Let hell know when Jesus show up, your breakthrough show up. Shia. David start ball. David start cry. And David said, Lord, how are they increase that troubled me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say unto my soul, there is no help for him in God. I wonder who I'm preaching to. You feel like you turn to the right. There is no help. You turn to the left. There is no help. All you're reaching out. No help. But I heard when David changed his mouth and said, But, oh Lord, the art a shield for me and the glory and the lift up of mine head. I cry unto the Lord with my voice and he heard me out of his holy heads I lay me down and I slept he wake me up the Lord sustain me come on somebody and David conclusion is I will not be afraid of ten thousand people that have set themselves roam about me I want you to get radical I'm not afraid of legion I'm not afraid of witchcraft I'm not afraid of generational curse I'm not afraid of I'm not afraid of Illuminati. I am not afraid of 10,000 people that set themselves against all I need to do is open my mouth and shout arise oh Lord save me oh my God Shia Shanda for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone. God, I'm going to lick out them teeth. Help me about the warriors. I said, God, I'm going to shut down every lying tongue, deceitful tongue, hateful tongue, 
murmuring tongue, complaining tongue, the tongue of the witch, the tongue of the warlock, every tongue that rises against destiny. Up your mouth again. Up your mouth again. Up your mouth again. Salvation belong it unto the Lord. Thy blessing are upon thy people. Somebody throw your head back. Up your mouth and say, I will, I will. bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. At, all At all times, his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, a man. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the earth and be glad. Oh, magnify. Speak of God. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us, let us, let us exalt his name. Hold me a mouth and show your head back. 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 Destiny can't hide. I want you to find five people and tell them destiny can't hide. Destiny carries a mark. Shia. Destiny carry a mark on it. Hell no, you. You're not no money, but they don't like you. You're not beautiful like them, but them still can't stand you. Oh, Shia. Shanda. Hell no, you, man. Tell somebody, hell no, you. Hell no, you. And because hell no, you, hell I fight you. Hell don't want to maximize your full potential. Somebody say, hell I fight you. Because Shut it down. Legion know it. Hell know it. So hell send Legion to bind the warrior. So hell send warriors to bind warrior. You're not hearing me? Shire. That symbol means then you can look on your warfare in order to know your purpose. You can look on the battles you fight and know what God use it for do. Where is the worshippers? Come on, someone say, take a good look at your battle. Come on, tell them, take a good look at your battle. Come on, warriors, and you will discover your calling. Where is the worshippers? If sickness a fight you, if disease a fight you, it simply means you are called to be to manifest the gift of healing. Shia. For how can you call him a healer? If you have not been healed. Where is the worshippers? Never been healed. Where is the warriors in here? Look on your battle. And know your purpose. If you find out a witchcraft. The occult world will fight you. If you realize, say, the dark world does rise up against you and people. I burn candle against you and people. Can your name go on a mother bad pan? It simply means, come on, warriors, you are called to be a minister of deliverance. It means you are called to cast out devils. It means God called you to set people free. That's why hell used that. That set a spirit to fight you. Where is the worshippers? Open your mouth and say something. It's kind of a little bit flat. If depression, oppression, is attacking your mind, it simply means that you are called to pull down satanic strongholds and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God you were called you are anointed to bring down captivity and every high thing 
to the obedience every high thing that ex exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ where is the worshipers there was a prophecy over God there was a prophecy over the Godites there was a prophecy over the gatherings and the prophet is, prophecy says, A troop shall overcome you. And we live to see Legion, the troop, have the city under siege. Shia Basaya. But the prophecy ends by saying, But you shall overcome at the end. Destiny, I come here to tell you, you shall overcome at the end. Oh, Jesus, better days are ahead. You don't eat your best meal yet. You don't drive your best car yet. You're not living at a dream house yet. Better. Come on, warriors. Is before you. Open your mouth, somebody. Come on, if I'm preaching to you, come here. Come on. I'm here to tell you that you shall overcome at the end. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers? Tell five people in this house uh, a prophecy is over your life. Godites. Come on, Godites. I don't care how big Legion is, a prophecy is over your head. I don't care how much the troop is, how large the troop is, a prophecy is over your head. You shall overcome at the end. Oh, Jesus, I feel a shift in here. Come on, somebody, you better drag your name and say, Jesus is coming to get you. Where are the warriors in here? I know them put you in a box. Shanda Messiah. I was praying for a lady once. And when I look, I see a lock and key. And the Lord showed me the lock and key, the lock, lock. Oh, Jesus, and the key and the lock showing I see. Who am I talking to? And God says, Shanda Messiah. Where are the warriors? Somebody say something. It's kind of a little bit flat. Come on, we're going in tonight. Somebody open your mouth and say something. Shire. But I don't care how they throw the key one place and throw the lock at another place. Jesus is the one that carried the master key. I don't care what kind of key. They could have burned it, break it, or do anything with it. Jesus can open any lock. Come on, somebody says, Zion have a key to open any lock. You better open your mouth. It's kind of a little bit flat. Jesus said, when you go over there, you tell my people that I will go over the mountain. I'll go over the hills. I left the 90 and 9. And I'll find the last sheep. Come on, somebody, because I come to seek and to save that which is lost. Where is the worshippers? You better throw your head back and tell your neighbor, he's coming for you. It doesn't matter where you are, Jesus can find you. It doesn't matter what kind of you, Jesus can break it. It doesn't matter what kind of curse, Jesus can shatter it to pieces. Who am I talking to? Throw your head back. I'm going in. Give me five more. I'm done now. Come on. You shall overcome at the end. Come on. Pull somebody and tell them you shall overcome at the end. The troop legion that overpowered you. Put chains on your hands. Put chains on your feet. The chain signifies holding you down and blocking everything you try to feel. Everything you put your hand to. Come to not, but Jesus said tonight, I must listen. I'm gonna hear the sound of handcuffs falling to the ground. Who am I talking to? You better touch your neighbor. Say the handcuff is falling off. If you learn how to call Messiah, Messiah, who am I talking to? If you just learn how to call Messiah, come on. I know them try to block you. I know them try to stop you. I know some demons are fight you. You're going around in circles but God sent me to tell you your help is here tonight somebody throw your head back open your mouth come on the devil don't want you to be productive 
The devil won't block you in. Put chains on your feet. Who am I talking to? Come on, no limitation. Come on, pull somebody and tell them all limits off. Kick off them all chain. Kick off them all limitation. Every demon of limitations. Come on, a man. Come on, a man. For God shall bless you indeed. God shall widen your borders. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of a little bit flat. The devil is a liar from the gutter to the utter. I don't care what hell put on you. God, when God is finished with you, that what hell put on you can be Right when somebody see you and you tell them what you have been through, they're gonna say lie you are tell who am I talking to? For God I go cool you in your right mind, God I go lift you up so high. You are your past that resemble who am I preaching to? It's kinda a little bit flat. Open your mouth. Shut from the quartermost to the uppermost. Open your mouth from bandage to freedom somebody open your mouth throw your head back Shaya. open your mouth open your mouth open your mouth all confinement off somebody reach to 10 people and say all confinement off limitations borders Move out the way. Shaya. Shanda. Shanda. I walk me a walk. I walk me a walk. I say, I walk me a walk. Upon the head of serpents. Upon the head of the scorpion. I'm trampling everything. Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Listen to me now. Just look in this direction for five seconds. Listen to me. The next time somebody asks you, I wanna throw a bishop, throw money at the bishop foot for. Tell them say hey, my trample. Every limitation, every demon we think they can stop your breakthrough. Every unclean and foul spirit of lack and poverty. We are somebody up your mouth, no man. Somebody start to walk. Take the, Take the territory. No devil can run you out of town. No oh, Shia. Somebody said, me now nah, run away. No. Me now nah, run up the church. Open your mouth and praise God in here. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher in here. Trample. Walk. 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 Godites, Godites, Godarines, you shall put your foot in the neck of the enemy. Shia, oh Shanda, I trample every demon of poverty. I trample the loan where you have. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the? I trample every loan. I trample every debt. Everything we seems hard, I trample it. I trample poverty and I call your vehicle. I trample poverty and I call your own house. I trample everything and I call your own visa to US. Visa to UK. Visa to Canada. Travel the islands. No limitation. All limits off. I'm a child of God. I come here for take it. And I feel the power of God in my belly. I feel the Holy Ghost stretching out in me. I feel the Holy Ghost stretching out in me. Come on. Come on. The territory is given to you. Open your mouth and say the territory is mine. The territory is mine. And no legion take it from your great grandmother. Legion take it from your great grandfather. 
Oh Jesus, this is a generational curse. The man comes across the legion. And legion identifies something about him. He's called to be a preacher. He's called to turn the place loose. So legion attack him. But he is a one that learn how to cry. Him cry out to God. Open your mouth and cry out right now. Open your mouth and cry out right now. Open your mouth and cry out. Cry. Cry. Open your mouth and call. Lay that call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Shia. God says to Joshua my servant Moses is dead and now rise pass over the Jordan thou and all this people unto the land which I'm giving to them to the sons of Israel touch your neighbor say God I you. and tonight you are Caleb you are the Godites and you are going to take it by force Come on, no man. If nobody not talk to you, talk to yourself. If nobody not say, open your mouth by feet. You know the amount of people come to church and never get nothing? And get into the power of their tongue. And if they learn of a turn the situation with their tongue, they open their mouth and speak life in dead situation. Who am I talking to? The man was mad, insane demon, have him. But the Bible says man never keep his mouth shut. The man cry and cut all himself. Every time them bound him in break chain. You better tell the neighbor some nasty and no bandage. No generational curse. Now hold me on bandage. No addiction now hold me down. No weakness now hold me down. No masturbation, fornication, no loss, no adultery now have me no bandage. Throw your head back and break it right now. Up me about and shout again. 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 He said to him, He said to him, Walk. Tell the neighbor, Walk in the spirit. Don't walk. In the flesh, the battle is first won in the spirit. Get up tonight in the Holy Ghost and walk in the spirit. Shy eye, listen. And now we tell you and Israel walk every place on which the sole of your feet shot it. To you, I give it to you. To you, it is given. Come on. I have spoken to Moses. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said, I have spoken to Moses. And so I say to you, get up and take it. As I speak over you tonight, some of you feel like you're in a tomb. Tomb signify burial. He was buried. His destiny was buried. Although he was alive. That's the plan of the adversary for you. He wants to bury your destiny. So you become a walking dead. Where is the worshippers in here? A troop of demons did that to him. Have him in a tomb and a man alive. alive. Have chains for him because he nothing take what God planned for him. But somebody said, me I take everything. We God have in store for me. The devil is a liar. Where is the worshippers in here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wonder if I can find somebody in the Holy Ghost tonight. Can I find somebody in the Holy Ghost tonight? From the guttermost to the uttermost. God give me back everything fourfold. But me not get one thing yet. 
You know how women get back? You know they're here. Run, come and preacher. Me get everything back. Me get horse. Your wife. Say that again. Your wife. Well, if, if you can't get wife. All right, look at me like your vex, yeah? Where is your worshippers in here? Open your mouth and say something, man. Them not like them kind of preaching here. Where is your worshippers? But somebody said from the gutter to the altar, may I go? I don't know about you, may I go straight from the altar and everything where the enemy stole. Tonight, may I take it. By force, I don't ask for it. I don't ask for it. I mind, may I take it. Warriors, where are you? Kind of flat, too tight. Little bit too tight. Somebody open your mouth and say something. Shaya Basa. I just said something a while ago. You know. I just said something a while ago. You know. I just said something. You want to hear what I say? Shaya Basa. Sir, I don't know you. I don't know you. First, may I see you. You come from nowhere about here? We are black where you come from, so I don't know you. Two different parish, and you don't know me. But I see something a while ago. You see your foot? You see your foot? I said, you want something to wrap on your foot? Where is the worship? I said, Hallelujah. So beneath that, there's something under the foot. Wrap up. A parchment, they call it. Parchment paper with one name, the panel. Right, Ronnie. Shine of us, Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the believers in here? It's kind of flat in the man. Hand high. How are you? How are you? What are you say? Go in, sir. So, what do you, you mean? Go in. Call in him. Jesus, boy, and I will go see no man. Where is the worshiper? Pull somebody in the Holy Ghost and say, Come with me, man. Where is the worshiper? Say something, no man. You're coming with me, warrior. Open your mouth and say something, no man. It's kind of a little bit too flat. Don't play with the bishop. Open your mouth and yada the king. I say, Open your mouth and yada the king. Yes, sir. Hello, you want to hear the name, sir? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Come here. We're going in, warriors. Open your mouth and say something. I said, Elder Mullins, you're paying. You know, where is the warriors in here? It's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. Throw your head back, no man. Up your mouth and say something, no man. Oh, it's a flat. Up your mouth and give God one more shout. Give God one more praise. Throw your head back and say, We're losing him tonight. Legion, I leave you tonight. I said, Legion, I look. Legion are taking flight tonight. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody open your mouth. Shout one more glory. Shout one more praise. I'm not going to say no. Where is the worshippers in here? Somebody say, I'm not going to say and everything got sure you do it. Something got sure you have a whole. And then just pop one next side. Where is the worshiper? Say something, no man. Can I can I get a cheer, please? Where is the worshiper? Say something. Up your mouth and give God a high praise. Give God one more shout of praise. Give God one more shout of praise. Give God one more shout of praise. I want to take one chair, put this on that six foot there. I want you to put it on this chair. Because our name is written on the foot. Where is the worshippers in here? Come on, man. It's kind of flat, man. Come on, man. Say something, man. Give God one more shout of praise in here, man. 
Hug your mouth and yada the king man. Hug your mouth and shout one more high praise. Shia, shout one more high praise. Shout one more glory. Shout a glory, hallelujah. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. No weapon from against you shall prosper. Yeah, somebody help him. Yes. Shandabasa. Somebody give God a praise with him. Open your mouth and say, be loose. Be loose. Reverse every curse. Reverse death. Somebody say something. Reverse. Hallelujah. Loose. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Stretch out the foot. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Warriors, are you here? Warriors, are you here? Warriors, are you here? Warriors, are you here? It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. I see Taylor. Who is that? Who is that? That's you. Huh? I'm a, I'm a tear up. Where is the worshippers? Why is the flat, man? Why is the flat? Why is the flat? Shia. Yeah, man. It's kind of too tight, man. A little bit too tight. A little bit too tight. Throw your head back and push back every demon in Qatar. Somebody shout. Shout a glory, hallelujah. Shout up. Can I get some water, please? Can I get some water? Lift your hand and say, Jesus, put your efficacious blood in this water, please. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, put your healing virtue. God wants to heal your eye. Come here. You have an eye problem? Come here. Shanda Basa. Hallelujah. Somebody throw your head back and say the blood of Jesus Christ here. The blood of Jesus. Shia. Keep your eye open. Shia Basa. Silver and gold. The, the cloud is through this eye. The cloud, the cloud. Cloudy that you see through this eye. God say he's touching that for you tonight. We are the warriors. Silver and gold. Have I none? But such as I have. Give I thee in the name of Jesus. Open your eye in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to be healed. Yeah! Somebody help him. Open your mouth and give God one more praise. Where are the warriors? Bleed the blood, the man. Say something, warriors. Open your mouth. Throw your head back. Shout again. Say something. So demon of trouble, the baby. Demon of trouble, the baby. Yes, that's why you come. Where is the worship as in here? Uh-huh. Open your mouth and say something, man. It's kind of too flat, man. Open your mouth. Where are the warriors in here, man? It's kind of too tight. Throw your head back and plead the blood and say fire. fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Shanda. Stretch your hands towards the baby now. When they say Jesus, every unclean spirit to a far country. One, two, three. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Deliverance. Jesus, drive that unclean spirit. Jesus, Jesus, that demon will trouble the baby. We send him to a far country right now. Somebody open your mouth. Shabbat the king. Open your mouth. Yada the king. Open your mouth. Live Jesus in here. It's kind of a little bit flat. You see, you have some person that fight the anointing, you know. You have some person that they stay one side with a covetous spirit. They want a name. So they might try to build a name for themselves. So they pint over here. Some of them are kind of foolish in the matter because they see money and drop on my foot. Where is the worshippers in here? But guess what? The anointing destroys the yoke. The problem is when no when 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 you are do and no result. Yes. But slap your neighbor say this anointing carry a yoke breaking anointing. It's a yoke breaking anointing. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and shout again. Hallelujah. Why you think the buildings are full? 
You think of how Bishop dress? Where is your worship? Say something, the man is kind of flat, too tight. Throw your head back and say something. Nobody not talk no bishop, bad about a bishop. In a Jamaica like this one over here. Where is the worshippers in here? It's kind of flat. And then guess what? But the more you fight, the more God go up. Because signs and wonders. Sign and wonder. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say something in here. It's kind of too tight. Now watch me now. You walk up. You have a piece of money in your hand. And you throw it at my feet. Hundreds of people were coming. What I said? Hundreds of people were coming. But when you reach to me, I stop you. And I ask you your name, that seed. Where is the worshippers in here? And you say to me, yes, Bishop, I name that seed. Shia Basaya. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Shia Basa. Now, oh my God, where is the worshippers in here? Sky in a flat, too tight, man. Say something, the man. Up your mouth and the yard of the king of kings, the man. Yard of the yard of yard, lords, the man. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, no? Say something in here. Now, son. Yes, sir. Your name, your seed. And you say, God, I'm sowing this because I need a vehicle for business. Yes, sir. Where is the worship? Because it's kind of flat, too tight. Come on, the man is too flat, man. Where is the worshipers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Hallelujah, Jesus. Nice God. You hear that, Bishop? You hear that, Bishop? God said, by this year done, nothing under 10 members of this church have no vehicle. If you're a covetous, you're gone, you're vomit now. If you're a covetous preacher, you're gone, throw up, you know. Where is the work? I wonder who does a mean at attendant. Oh, Jesus, where is the worship? How is the flat man? Hallelujah. I wonder if anybody's swift. I wonder if anybody's swift in the Holy Ghost. And you drop out of the bishop mouth. Pick that. Where is the warriors? Throw your head back and say something. Up your mouth and yell at the king. Say something in here. When I reach church, Shaya Basa, Shanda Basaya. When I you feel something moving here, foot and like it, I juke it. Say something, the man. Where is believers? Now, when I reach church tonight, Bishop, the preacher said, Bishop, come here. Can I talk to you? And he brought me to a nice vehicle. Reminds me when he was coming to sow the seed. I stopped him out of everybody and said, Did you name the seed? He said, Yes, Bishop, I named the seed, and this is the fruit. Mm, the man showed me the vehicle in a man, and the man got the vehicle for like half price. Well, a little under half price. Where is the worshippers? And, and where the man got the vehicle in a man, the man, the, a half price, the man paid for the vehicle, you know. And all of that, and he never have to pay the half price one time. He give, he give less than a half first. Yes, sir. Here is your worshippers in here, man. Oh. And when he give less than a half, when he give less than a half, he get everything. He get papers and title and everything in a hand, keys and everything in a hand. He said, go on. And then Holy Ghost just open another door and he just carry everything. Go. Pay. Where is your worshippers? Oh. Throw your head back, man, and say, faith. If you have faith, as small as a mustard seed you can say to any mountain mountain be plucked up we are the worshippers in here Hallelujah. stretch your hands towards him son i'm touching your preaching ministry i'm taking it from here and i'm pulling it up here where is the warriors in here come on warriors stretch your hands towards him and overflow is coming in your gifts and your calling and overflow is coming come on somebody a new wave of the anointing is gonna hit your son because you are chosen to be a preacher of the gospel of jesus christ i release it over you not tomorrow not next week but say something warriors what? taylor taylor then fix your foot. 
Shaya Basam. Put something on your foot. And pan your foot. But your medication not upon your foot. Your, ah. your medication is over what is on your foot. Oh, Shaya Basam. If I can get two warriors that understand this level of warfare. So even though the medication is on your foot, the medication is on the thing that was placed on your foot. But tonight I am and I'm unwrapping that unclean spirit. Shia Basa. I'm commanding that spirit to get off. Where is the worshiper? Stretch your hands towards him. After three, all you need to do is shout the name of Jesus Christ. When you say Jesus, God will do the rest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Silver gold. Have I none? But such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the spirit of witchcraft to unwrap you now. I drive him to a far country in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, go, 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 go. Now. unwrap, unwrap, unwrap. Go, bleed the blood onto fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Somebody start a war. Plead the blood, blood, blood. Plead the blood and say fire. Plead the blood and say fire. I see a demonic attack. I see them block your wedding. I see them say you're not for married. Warriors, are you here tonight? Worshippers, are you here tonight? Hallelujah. Believers, are you here tonight? Glory, Somebody say something. Come on, warriors, after three, all you need to do is say Jesus over her. When you say Jesus, the curse is destroyed by fire. One. I push back every curse word. I push back every demon that come to black your wedding. I drive him to a far country that unclean spirit that cause contention in the house, that cause that war and quarrel in the house. Shanda. I drive him to a far country. Not tomorrow, not next week, but I command him to go. Somebody open your mouth and praise God in here. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody show glory, hallelujah. Somebody show glory, hallelujah. Somebody show glory, hallelujah. Shout again. Sky in a flat man, open your mouth and shout. 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 Lift your two hands, son. The attack is still on. The war of fear is still on. The enemy is attacking your marriage. The enemy don't want your destiny to come to pass. So the enemy says, Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Come on, worship and say something. Hallelujah. Now, a turnaround is about to take place. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. Someone said, turn around is about to take place. Where is your wife? Come here, wifey. Come here. Come here, wifey. Come here. Come here, wifey. Come here. Where is wifey? Sister, Sister Syria, run, come. Come on, warriors. What kind of church is this? Missionary to be. Deacon to be. Your house is under attack. Go for the daughter. Go for the daughter. Bring her here. Bring her here. We reach the worshipers. Stand up here. Stand up here. Look in my eyes now. 
She is your mother. Don't look in my eyes. Don't let the devil tell you nothing else. She's your daughter. Look at me now. God wants the family to jail. It's time now. Look in my eyes. You should be on the choir already, you know. Look in my eyes. You should have a Look in my eyes. Stretch your hands towards them. Shia. What is happening here? Look at me, preacher. What is happening here? Look at me, preacher. What is happening here? Is an attack on your ministry. Look at me. What is happening here? Is an attack on your ministry. Only wisdom can give you the victory. Only wisdom can give her the victory. We are the worshipers. I'm going to hide you tonight. I'm going to hide you under the blood. I'm going to hide you from every attack of demons. I'm going to cover you from every demonic power who want to lead you astray. I'm going to destroy them by fire tonight. Where is the worshipers, man? We need some Holy Ghost filled fire baptized in here, you know. Where is the worshipers? We need some fire baptized warriors in here, you know. Shia Basha. I want you to stretch your hands towards this family and we declare war somebody say war after three one two three one two three one two three one two three silver and gold have i none but such as i have Give I thee the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The anointing to defeat them now. Take it. Shanda. The anointing to defeat them. Take it. Shia commanded to be set free now. Somebody loose her. Somebody loose her. Up your mouth and to be loose by the power of Jesus' name. Where is the worshippers? Up your mouth. Up your mouth and loose her. Up your mouth and set her free. Be loose. Somebody plead the blood, the man. Plead the blood. Up your mouth and plead the blood. Up your mouth and plead the blood. Shaya. Shanda. You see, and that, give it to me, let me let somebody write it. I'm going to write the purpose and destiny of your son on this. The reason why he's going through what he's going through is because of his destiny. Where is the worship? I say something, man. Up your mouth, start another war in here, man. Up your mouth and you the king in here. Up your mouth and give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah. Give God one more shout. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory. Somebody say something. Glory, up glory, your mouth and glory, yada. Glory. Up your mouth and give him one more shout of praise in him. Come on, keep the praises flowing, man. Too flat. Up your mouth and yada. Up your mouth and yada. Somebody say something in here. Open your mouth and give God one more praise in here. Give God one more shout of praise. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Throw your head back, man. Throw your head back. Give him one more shout. Give him one more praise. Shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory.
Where are the worship as in here? Where are the praise as in here? It's your faith, make you say no. Anoint yourself with this. And declare, I am healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. Somebody say something, man. Up me out and give God one more praise. Give God one more shout. Give God one more shout of praise, warriors. Wave your hands and give him another praise in here. Somebody give him a praise in here. Tears is a language that only God understands. Cry to God and God will do the rest. Somebody give him one more praise in here. Clap your hands, man. Give him one more shout. If you are here and, and you are not yet baptized in Jesus' name, walk to this altar right now. Shia. Ahayabasa. If you are here and you need the power of the Holy Ghost, walk to this altar right now. Come, if you are here and you are bound and sick, depressed, walk to this altar right now. You are under a serious demonic attack. Fight back. It's a destiny killer that is fighting you. Fight back. Shaya basa. We are the warriors in here. Come on, if you need the Holy Ghost, walk to this altar. If you are not yet baptized in Jesus' name, walk to this altar right now. Come on, somebody, say something. Altar work as your time. Altar work as your time. What yes. Yes. Yes, the water is shoveled. Yes. Come on, altar workers. Intercessors. Intercessors. Yes. Praise is on. Yes, Jesus. Yes, My God. Yes. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ.
baptized in the name of Jesus.